my God. Welcome to Freedom Partner Interviews. My name is Cromar, and today I am joined by Hollow Point, an MGN partner, part of the Freedom family. Introduce yourself, Hollow Point. Hey guys, my name is Ray, or as my friends over on YouTube know me as Hollow Point or Hollow, and I make YouTube videos and put them up on the internet. I specify my channel mainly on Call of Duty news, tips, tricks, and daily gameplays. I've been on YouTube for about 11 months, and I'll be making my first year on YouTube next month on May 3rd, and I am about to hit 20,000 subscribers. Nice. Do you think you're going to hit that number before your uh, one-year anniversary? Uh, I think so, man. Things are going pretty good. I think so. Yeah, you heard the man sub. Hurry up. You have until <laughs> May 3rd. <laughs> when did you get into YouTube, and what are your long-term goals? Well, Cromar, I've been playing video games since the age of five. I am now 24 years old. I've been watching YouTube gameplay videos for over seven years now. I also, back in the days, used to you know get a lot of Game Informer magazines, and I would stay hours and hours on IGN.com and other news websites, and sometimes I would find myself having news even before big YouTubers did. And then that's when it hit me, maybe I could do this too. I also found myself explaining tips for Call of Duty to my friends very well and very detailed. I felt like I could you know, share this with an audience, so I decided to go ahead and give it a go. You know, my long-term goal now is to hopefully one day have a subscription base large enough to you know do this for a living I mean I think that's what uh, any youtubers dream is at this current moment you know whose channel is actually growing although at first that wasn't my intention you know I just simply started to just upload videos and have fun but uh, honestly I think I've exceeded my own expectations uh, quicker than I thought yeah so you were just kind of messing around and it actually turned out to be successful so you said wow I can actually do this yeah man it, it, it happened you know it happens if you put in time it'll happen yeah, speaking of putting in time, you have a pretty crazy upload schedule, like more than once a day on average. How do you maintain that kind of schedule? How much time do you put in? Yeah, um, honestly, Kromar, I, I sometimes surprise myself. I think uh, it has to do with the fact of uh, how much do you really love doing this, you know? How much do you, you know, really enjoy doing this? You know, sitting down in front of a computer screen and editing, because the fun part is playing. But, but if you don't love editing, you'll just lose yourself playing and playing and never you know, save quality time to actually edit your gameplays or tips or news videos. Right, so moving on into wild cards here, we have two wild cards, and those are primary gunfighter for, you know, an extra attachment for my primary weapon, which is the K5 in this case, and a wild card too, which is a perk 3 greed, and this will allow us to have two perks on the perk 3 slots. When your YouTube channel starts growing, you should treat it like a responsibility, you know, I mean... If you really want to make it grow, you know, if you look at my channel for 11 months, I have 500 plus videos. And of course, do it for the right reasons, you know, because you enjoy. I sacrifice a lot, to be honest, guys, um, you know, but I do have to thank God for my fiance. She supports me and actually pushes me and believes that this could happen for me. So, you know, thanks to her, I am able to spend endless amounts of hours. Obviously, the older you are, the harder it becomes, you know, the more responsibilities you have. If you're younger, then time management could be a little bit easier. So basically to summarize it all up for you guys, on my days off, I wake up at about 9-10 a.m. in the morning, start recording and playing, finding news, making tip videos for the next day or two. By the time the day is over, I'll spend about 10 to 12 hours, obviously with some breaks in between. I know, I know, I'm obsessed, but I think that's why I've grown so quickly, you know? Your subscribers will see your ambition and they'll follow you on your journey. So you primarily do Call of Duty and other similar FPSs, and I have a question about the current gen games. And you've been playing Advanced Warfare for a while. What's your opinion of it now that you've been playing it, and are you looking forward to Black Ops 3? No, that's a very, uh, very good question, Cromar. You know, I myself have been uh, a part of a vast majority of fans that think that Call of Duty itself is dying. Advanced Warfare is, is nothing like older CODs, and I think they went this futuristic route to be different. You know, and to try and pick up the franchise back up. But there's there's more people leaving than staying right now. And I think uh, if you just learn to play the game, you can learn to love it as well. It's not my favorite Call of Duty, to be honest with you guys, but it's not the worst one either. I think Black Ops 3 could be a hit or a miss. Am I excited for the game? Yes, most definitely. I'm just concerned about the whole futuristic feel to it, simply because of double jumps and things like that. I like, me personally, I like my soldiers to be on the ground. I think the whole double jump messed up the map flow in Call of Duty in general. Ooh. Hey. This guy's trying to shoot me. Woo! Coming. Alright, this. Oh my god. The same guy back to back. What a merciless. As far as Black Ops 3 goes, the game is too far into development at the current stage, you know, to change everything. But I think 
or at least I would want to think that uh, Treyarch will do something special for their fans. You know, they have so far. We will have to see how the how the trailer looks this Sunday. What is your favorite uh, Call of Duty? You mentioned you mentioned you had a favorite. Uh, my favorite Call of Duty is Modern Warfare 2. If you could cover another genre besides FPS, what would it be, and what games would you play? Oh man, you know that's a really good question. To be quite honest, my favorite game of all times. It's actually an RPG and, and that game is Kingdom Hearts and it's quite funny because all I do is FPS on my channel but definitely I would like to do some uh, Kingdom Hearts. I also like action games some you know like Uncharted, God of War and of course some survival horror games Resident Evil. I tried Outlast you know for a few episodes on my channel and, and people mm -hmm. just simply loved my reactions as well as when I played uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. So. Yeah, there's a big tonal difference between Kingdom Hearts and uh, Call of Duty. <laughs> from uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's comparing Donald apples Duck to oranges, machine yeah. guns. Yeah, yeah. So your channel is pretty successful, and I'm curious, what would you say to the YouTube gamers out there who are struggling to get off the ground, the ones who really want to make it but just aren't moving? And what mistakes do you think that people make the most often? Well, the first thing is to do it because you love it or enjoy it, whichever one. Uh, don't do it for the fame in quotation marks or the money because to be quite honest with you it won't work out it just simply will never work out for you always be positive YouTube is the biggest you know to me is the biggest roller coaster ride ever you know one day you can be super happy with your views and you know likes the next day you can be as low as you've ever been you know so just keep uploading and things will come some you know some people make it quicker than others but just remember that the ones that make it are the ones you know who keep going and never stop that is the main key now also you want to make sure you connect with your subscribers, ask them from time to time, you know, to give you feedback on the videos, you know, reply to as many of them as you can. I to this day have replied to almost 100% of my comments. If you go over to my comments, you guys will see I'm always replying. You know, make your subscribers feel like they're part of you. You know, at the end of the day, without them, your channel is simply nothing. Um, also, tips and news tend to help. You know, people are always looking out to see what's new. Pick up on things that are trending and just run with them. You know, don't self-advertise. These are the don'ts. You don't want to self-advertise, you know, on other channels or social media, Twitter, Instagram, things like that. That will only get you hate. And and trust me, it will. Because I know a lot of people that are hated because they do that. And uh, possibly report it on YouTube. If you go and advertise on people's YouTube channel on the comment section, people will report you. And you can put your channel at risk, you know, of something much worse. Uh, do not do sub for sub. That's a big one. I see a lot of people doing, you know, subscribe for subscribe on my Instagram. Everybody's always subscribe for subscribe. And I did that once when I first started and it was, you know, it was plain dumb. And the reason why I don't agree with it is because, you know, if you tell somebody to sub for sub on social media, you know, people will go to your channel. They will subscribe. But the only reason that they're subscribing is simply because they want you to subscribe. So whenever you post a video, they're really not going to go you know watch your channel they're just in your channel so you can subscribe to them so that's why I think that sub for sub is a way to get dead subscribers if you get dead subscribers you're not gonna get any views at the end of the day your channel is gonna grow depending on views and ratings and things like that yeah the subscriber count is definitely overrated as a measure of success uh, if you're if all of your subs are active and real subs then it counts but doing silly tricks like that that just inflates a number and doesn't help you at all yeah Definitely, it will never, never help you. It'll just, it'll, it'll actually frustrate you because you don't look, you will actually look at your sub count, and it's not really adding up as much to your view count, and you will get frustrated. And, and YouTube is, it's uh, once you treat it like a business, it's something that if if you get frustrated, your videos, your you know, your production, how you make your videos, everything is just not going to be you know, to its full potential. And that's something you don't want to make out of your videos. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me, Hollow Point. You guys can check out his channel. The link will be in the video description below. And we have a few clips here and there for you to check out as well. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you next week on Freedom Partner Interviews. All righty, guys.